Good evening, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to ACTN and welcome to a special edition of Community Corner right here on this channel. Today we're going to be talking to a young artist who hails from the community of Vistabella. And actually, if you all know where our studio is located, they are just a stone throw from our, our studio. And it's a pleasure to have her here today because she has been chosen out of a total of 2,895 young artists from worldwide. She has been chosen in the top 20 to take part in a UNICEF Climate Comic Contest. And with me on set is young Selena Espinoza. Welcome, Selena, to ACTN. Thank you very and much. It's a pleasure. And first of all, before we get into the interview, let me say a big congratulations for you being selected in the top 20 of this contest. Thank right? you. So the spotlight is on you now. Tell us about this contest. Tell us what it's entailed. I know your character that you sent up is Flora. Mm -hmm. But there is so much more to this character. So it's all up to you now to tell us and the viewers what this um, contest is about. Well, the concept is to bring about um, knowledge to young people as well as the world about the dangers of global warming and climate change. Mm -hmm. So the competition wanted young artists like me to create characters that could bring about that change or set an example to others on how to bring about that change. Mm -hmm. So Flora is a character that I designed based on Trinidad and Tobago's white-tailed saber-wing hummingbird, which is an endangered species mm -hmm. of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And this hummingbird were, became endangered because of Hurricane Flora in 1963. Okay. So the entire concept and story of my character revolved around this hummingbird and its powerful story and how it's still fighting to survive in Trinidad and Tobago. I also thought it was a beautiful way to represent Trinidad and Tobago in this competition, especially because it was worldwide. Because if I do win, the little part of Trinidad and Tobago, even though it's something as small as a hummingbird, mm -hmm. will be represented to the rest of the world. Yeah. When you say represented to the rest of the world, um, let's, say, let's talk positive. You win, right? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen to Flora after you win? Um, after I win... Flora is going to be turned into an actual comic book. Her story is going to be told through a series of comic books that the competition publishes. Mm -hmm. And of course, I will still retain all the rights to the character. Mm -hmm. And they will have a little write-up about where the character originated from, which is where Trinidad and Tobago will be mentioned, mm -hmm. as well as my name and my school and my age. Okay. Let's back a little bit. How did you get into art? Oh, uh, this is going to be a cliche answer. I think I was just born to be an artist because of my mom and my dad. They naturally had a love for theater arts and for visual arts and for anything creative. And I think my sister and I just took that DNA aspect from them. Because mm -hmm. the minute I was born, I held a pencil in my hand and I wanted to draw. Mm -hmm. And that still hasn't changed from eight years old and now I'm 17. Mm -hmm. And I still want to be an artist and express myself visually in that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. When you look at the type of art, what, what sort of art you are most mostly focused on? Is it just character um, images or do you do other um, like different sites and different um, types of art? I do do tif different types of art. I've experimented in jewelry making. Mm -hmm. I've done fine art slash traditional art, which is painting, mixed media, drawing, and portrait landscapes and seascapes. Mm -hmm. And I have done, well, the character drawings, mm -hmm. which is like illustration and character design. Mm -hmm. And I'm still dabbling in stuff, more upcoming art, like anime and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This, um, this, this competition that you entered, how, how you found out about, about it? That um, was a link on Facebook advertising the competition as it was an online competition. Mm -hmm. And my cousin, Katrina Khan, sent the link to me mm -hmm. because she knows how much I love to develop these characters. And I was like, you need to try this competition. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it. And mm -hmm. I tried it. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that my work was that good to, re to even end up in the finals. It was a shock. It was an amazing shock. Yeah, because I'm seeing here... Um you, 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 you came up against uh, a young artists from Canada, Cuba, China, Croatia, France, Germany, Indonesia, um, Malaysia, Mexico, Pakistan, and the list goes on. And you were fortunate to be um, chosen 
as the only one from the Caribbean, uh, the Caribbean um, country. So that, that's a huge achievement. Now, for the viewer's sake, let's talk a bit about how they are going to judge you, how the judging mm -hmm. will take part, so then people can know how they can assist you. I know it's by uh, voting means that mm -hmm. you have to vote, right? But tell the viewers how they go about voting and what is to be done. To go about voting, you could either go on Facebook and join a group called um, Selena, the artist, where you get a direct link to the website mm -hmm. and you could vote from there. Mm -hmm. Or you could go and use the link, the mm -hmm. direct link to go to the comic, the climate comic website mm -hmm. and you could just click on my photo of the character and type in your email and that's the vote. And how many times per day can you vote? You, know, how many? you can vote once daily. Mm -hmm. So. From the 6th to the 17th of November, you can vote once every day. What was the experience like for you when you found out that you were selected in the, in the top 20? I wish I had the vocabulary to express how happy I was. Mm -hmm. I tried it out of curiosity and I really did not expect to get into the finals. Mm -hmm. So hearing the news and getting that email and seeing how how many they sent you an email, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. an official email saying how mm -hmm. many people entered the com competition mm -hmm. and that I was in the top 20. Mm -hmm. That was one of the happiest moments because I've never really entered a competition of this magnitude before. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's talk a bit about the character. Um, you said it came about due to the Hurricane Flora. Mm -hmm. um, what are, and, the, and the hummingbird, the dying species. How long did it take to, to, to get the image that you wanted in your mind and then to complete the whole process? Um, it took approximately a week because she wasn't the first animal I tried it out with. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use an endangered species, mm -hmm. but I did not know which species I was going to use. Mm -hmm. And upon doing more research about the hummingbird, I fell in love with their little aspects, like they're naturally inquisitive and they're very smart and strong. And after the, I used that week to develop different design aspects from the mm -hmm. hummingbird into my character and played around with different sizes, body types, skin colors. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to show the hummingbird's natural beauty with my design as well. Mm -hmm. I know that. Um you're from a talented family because your younger sister is considered one of the best young artists mm -hmm. in Trinidad and Tobago at present. Are you going to be f making art a career? And if so, have you, where have you set your sights on? Right? Because, I mean, this is just a starting for you. Mm -hmm. right? There are much more that you can do with art. So what, 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 what are you going to do? Um, after you leave school or are you going to go abroad to pursue art and to what extent? Um, in terms of education, I believe education is the foundation. So I will be continuing art at the tertiary level. Okay. Um, after the tertiary level, um, I wanted to either go into the personalized product industry where I could use di um, digital art and graphic design aspects to make a career. Mm -hmm or um, I can go into the online business and use my traditional slash fine art skills in designing mm. and create um, products like pillowcases and figure out innovative ways to put my designs on fabrics, on fabrics mm. or on any other product to further expand the market for my fine art designs. And then I do have an option to go into animation in Trinidad and Tobago, as that is an upcoming industry. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where my road would take me, but I do know that I want to be an artist when I grow up. Okay. We have to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk a bit about, about your, um, your background, because I'm, I'm sure that this is not the only piece of art you have done so far. So when mm -hmm. we come back, Lina, we'll um, talk I know that, that Flora is the main subject what mm -hmm. we're discussing here because of the competition. But I'm sure that you have other art pieces that you have done, right? Um, take me through your, your, your short um, artist um, collection. Um, 
Recently, I got a certificate of excellence in NGC Sandfest. Mm -hmm. um, that was a human figure portrait of an African woman with her head bandaged. Mm -hmm. um, I've also done animals. So I've done Melvin from the zoo, which is the baby giraffe. Okay. I've also done seascapes, which was how I got into practice with painting. That was one of the first things I started to paint, to develop hand techniques and brushwork. And I've also done, besides portraits and animals, I've tried nature-themed items like trees and forests and rivers and waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what, when, you, when you're doing your art, mm -hmm. what is the greatest you know, sense of feeling inside of you when you're doing a piece? What, what comes to mind? When I'm doing a piece, yeah. the greatest feeling I could have in that entire process, I think, is the conceptualization of what I'm doing. That aha moment or spark when you could see it in your mind. It starts in your mind first before you actually put it on paper. In your mind and in your heart, yeah. too. Okay. And then when you see that come to life on the page mm. to the best of your ability, mm. it makes you feel accomplished because you're now showing people something that you have a passion for and something that you imagined. And for them to see it and understand it and then critique it, that entire process, I don't think there's just one particular moment that fills you with joy. I think it's the entire process of creating art that just is amazing to me. You, you get up Saturday morning and you discover that Selena has won the competition, right? But regardless of what, <laughs> how are you going to use this achievement here? Because this is a huge ach achievement. How are you going to use this achievement to take you forward as a young artist? To be quite honest, I'm not sure as yet. Mm -hmm. Most likely, I would add it to my repertoire of accomplishments for like resume purposes mm -hmm. and to get into tertiary education. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what my reaction will be. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I will feel if I win this competition on Saturday. Okay. Um, there is no um, prize money or awards or anything in this. Mm -mm. It's just that if you win the commission, your character goes into a edition of a comic book. Yes. Right. So the motivation is not for money or for fame. It's just because of your love for well, the art. Yeah. Right. Now when when you discovered that you, you, you wanted to make art a career, right? Go back to the, I want to give you the opportunity to tell the viewers because the people who assisted you, they are not going to assist you alone. And there might be a young artist out there who loves art, mm -hmm. but is not aware of who or where they can go to get that, that, that help. So who are some of the people and they, they, they maybe, you know, the teachers who assisted mm -hmm. you, that you, you want to take this opportunity now to say a special thank you to them. I want to say a special thank you to Mr. Ian Atong, who developed my fine art skills. And he is also the reason that my realistic work has improved so much. Mm -hmm. I also want to thank Ms. Solange Woodruff, who is an art teacher and does still whole lessons. Mm -hmm. she, was my art, she is my art teacher at Holy Faith Convent Penal, mm -hmm. and it was her motivation for those five to six years that continue to push me and build my creative my creativity mm -hmm. so i want to say a special thank to those specific teachers as well as miss judith booker miss marilyn lala and the rest of teachers at holy faith convent you know, who continue to support me in this particular field and if any young artist wishes to continue will build their skill or go into art and can't find a teacher. I didn't always have an art teacher. I practiced on my own and in this day and age with technology and YouTube, 
you can start basic skills and painting and do research on Google. And if you really have the passion for it, it wouldn't feel like work mm -hmm. or research. It would just feel like fun. Mm -hmm. And you can still find someone, even if it's a school teacher, mm -hmm. or just ask your parents to support you if this is a decision that you want to make, if this is something you like doing, then um, if in the later years to come when I have developed my skill, I too wouldn't mind becoming an art teacher on the side. Tell Trent to be go why they must vote for you now. Speak to the, the viewers and tell them not why they should vote for you, but tell them they have to vote for you. <laughs> um, I would love you all to vote for me, mainly because I would love the support of my Caribbean island to feel that level of pride and to just support me as I have tried to support you and represent you in this competition. And it would just really mean a lot to me and just thank you very much in advance as well. And let's hear again how we go and vote on, on the Facebook page. Tell us again. You could either go on the Facebook page called Selena the Artist mm -hmm. and Selena Espinosa the Artist. Yes. Or you can go to the Climate Change website. Mm -hmm. The I think I can put the link up. Mm -hmm. And they could go directly there and vote by clicking the photo and typing their email in. Right, and you can vote once a day. Once a day. But you can vote as much as you, 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 you could. Is there anything you want to share with us before we, we, we wrap? Um, the only thing I want to share is that in the art industry, though it's very competitive, I believe that we should all support each other. So my fellow art students at Holyfield Convent Penal and any artist who wants to go into this competition next year, please mm -hmm. try it because I want to be the one voting for you next year. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, let's see if we can get Trinidad back into the finals next year as well. And you will welcome anybody next year. I'm Anyone. calling you to get advice as to how to go about it because you would have had the first-hand experience yeah. in the first year. And this is the first year of this competition or, or it's something... This um, is the, one, two, three, fifth year. the fifth year. And this is the first time you have actually decided to, to take part in it. Yes. Okay. Well, Selena, it was a pleasure chatting with you. Um, we really want to wish you all the best. And uh, we here at... at ACTN, we will stick in a vote for you, and um, we hope by Saturday we could be sending an invitation to you to have you back here next week as the winner of this competition. Yes.